everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to my lunch break. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm tired. Anyway, so my gosh, the TanaCon thing is still like high up on the radars. Now, I did make a slight address in my other video and um, I didn't like I've been watching everything and everybody's different opinions and other things that have been coming out about the TanaCon and I've come to the conclusion of this. You know, what Shane Dawson said um, for Tana that she planned it for the wrong reasons, which was revenge and anger was 100% correct. So these are the two problems that happened with TanaCon. Number one, Tana was just doing it to be spiteful and vengeful and she was angry. Number two, Michael Weiss seen that as a cash cow opportunity. So when you put anger and greed together, it causes chaos. So. The whole reason why everything failed and everything went wrong was because their heart, neither one of them, was in the right place. Nobody cared about the people. One had a vendetta, the other one cared about the money. So that is why the whole thing went wrong. It wasn't about people, it was about a vendetta for one and cash for the other. So that's exactly why it spiraled out of control. And it was poor planning. It was, it, it, the whole thing was just awful. And people, you know, got screwed. Completely screwed in the long run. I mean, everybody got screwed. And I really hope everybody does get their refunds. But the thing is about refunds is what about the people that took a plane to get there, that took a long road trip to get there, that their hotels or whatever, it, say people had kids and they had to, it's just so much. It's so much. There's no way you can, you know, reimburse somebody 100% because even if you reimburse them for the ticket, you're not going to reimburse them for the money that they spent, like, on hotels or on food or on travel <clears throat> or on childcare or on anything. So everybody pretty much got screwed out of everything when it comes to that. Um... Second, I really do think Shane was very partial to Tana Mojo. I mean, she, he was very, you know. And then the things like on Twitter that I had seen a couple of things and stuff like that. And I seen Beauty with Ashley's video. Oh my God, I was I was like dying. That yeah, Tana is now charging seventy dollars, you know, to give you a shout out. It's like okay, you just screwed a whole bunch of people over with your TanaCon. You literally had people outside baking in the sun, getting sunburnt. You had all these security issues and you have to refund people money for something that you did wrong to them. Because they both did wrong, both of them. But now you're gonna say, give me $70 and I'll give you a shout out. Oh my God. If people still follow this girl, stop. Just, just, just stop it. Stop it now, you know, and it's whatever it's just it's absolutely crazy and it's sad and it's awful what happened to those people and not only again were they gypped out of money but their time what happened to them with getting burned and everything it's just god awful so i really did want to see all sides and what other people were saying before i came to like a final conclusion and my thoughts on the whole thing and my thoughts is just that you know money you know Anger and greed, anger and greed, people. That's what it boils down to. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, Mom's benefit planning is going absolutely amazing. So many people are helping. Um, people are giving baskets, donations. My work is friggin' amazing as hell. They're helping me also. So I just wanna tell everybody that there is good out in the world. There really is good. And it sometimes isn't that hard to find. And sometimes it is, you know. And I have this other story that I wanted to share. <laughs> and it has to do with somebody else that is fighting cancer. However, these people make a lot of money and they have a couple of homes, they have a boat and all this other stuff. And they want to do a benefit. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, this is the reason why sometimes fundraisers and benefits get bad reputations and people don't go to them or whatever. I mean, I love Chinese auctions. I, I just love them. Um, but anyway, 
on a serious note. If somebody has like well enough money and they have properties and they have boats and they have things like that, just because you have like a terminal illness or something, you know, whatever, doesn't give you the right to automatically hold a benefit or a fundraiser, especially, you know. So that's like one of my peeves a little bit that I, you know, in doing my mom's um, benefit and everything. And my mom really has nothing. I mean, my dad gets Social Security. Um, my mom gets a very meager amount from Social Security. Like, their income monthly is a joke. It, it's just absolutely a joke. And, you know, she's living hand to mouth and, you know, she's worried to even go anywhere because of her car. She just wants to save it for only doctor's appointments. And then you have somebody that has all this money and properties and it's girl I can't even deal I, I I just can't deal with it so anyway that's another one of my peeves of the day so anyway that's just my thoughts and my story I haven't uploaded in a hot minute because I've been working my fedan dog off and doing you know things for mom's benefit but I have gotten like so many different donations and baskets and people are doing baskets and we have a lot of people coming and the food was donated which was awesome it was absolutely fantastic and um yeah you got you know someone donated for the keg of beer which was absolutely awesome and fantastic so i'm feeling really good and really hopeful about that um but i did just want to give my little anecdote of why i was upset um or why sometimes people that do benefits you know that got to do it for the right reasons man it's like you know if you're not li you know just because you have a diagnosis of something doesn't necessarily mean you get to have a fundraiser and I never did a GoFundMe or anything for her because first of all I don't like GoFundMe at all because a people don't donate to it that I know of at least in my area because they don't trust it because so many people you get people that go on GoFundMe to friggin I want to take my kids to Disney girl so did I when my kids were younger but I couldn't you know just now I've been able to take trips to like Universal and everything but I'm freaking 42 years old. I was 40 years old when I was able to take my kids on vacation because I worked hard all my life. You know, so yeah, I would have loved to take my kids to Disney. So have a good day, guys.